I'd really like you to think about calories in a different way. And I'm going to give myself four minutes to convince you that everything you think you know about calories might actually be upside down. Did you know that one litre of water weighs exactly one kilogram? So what is a calorie? As we're boiling that water over there, it's the energy needed to raise one gram of water one degree centigrade. And a kilocalorie, or a kcal, is the energy needed to raise one kilogram of water by one degree centigrade. So we're boiling our water and that will weigh exactly one kilogram. We can then let it cool back down to 20 degrees centigrade and it will still weigh one kilogram. That's because heat doesn't weigh anything. So you can put 80 calories into this water and it will stay the same weight. You can take 80 calories out and it will stay the same weight. But aha, some of you are trying to pick holes in this and you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, what about the steam and the condensation? This is where the bomb calorimeter comes in, which is a totally enclosed space, not an open system. When somebody steps on a scale, you see their weight. But what would happen if I gave this person a six kilogram dumbbell to hold? Unsurprisingly, this will happen. Their weight will increase. Their mass has gone up. What will happen if they now was to eat this amount of food? That's right. Their weight would go up in, in relation to the weight of the food. Here in my neatest handwriting is 2,500 calories. If you have 70% of your intake by fat, then you are going to get 1,750 calories from that amount of fat. If you divide that by nine, because that's how many calories there are per gram, you need 194 grams. So that is how much butter or fat you would need. So back to my scruffy handwriting, 2,500 calories, your daily intake. Let's say you get 70% of your intake from carbs. So that is 1,750 calories. And you divide that by four because it's one gram equals four calories. So you need 437 grams of food to give you the same amount of calories, which is this much food. So the carbs, you need that much, and for the fat, you need just that much. When it comes to protein, you are looking at about 30% for most people. And that will be 750 calories. Again, we divide by four because it's four calories per gram. So it's 187.5 grams. And that's this amount of food. So let's have a look at the figures. Fat and protein, you are eating about 381.5 grams of food every single day, twice a day, seven times in a week. So by the end of the week, you would have added mass of 5,341 grams. With carbs and protein, this is a whopping 8,750 per week. If you multiply that by a year, then over the year, you're consuming around 277 kilograms of food per year when it's fat and protein, but a whopping 455 kilograms of food per year if you decide to do carbs and protein. So, just that simple maths will show you that you are having an extra 177 kilograms of food in weight per year if you decide to do a 70% carbs, 30% protein diet. If that's not enough for you, check out this video with even more perspective on calories. It's not a freeze frame. I'm just, I'm just not, not doing anything else, just pointing. So click that for the next bit about calories.